Good evening YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I wanted to share with you guys, no, not another Invicta review, but I want to share with you guys a strap that was sent to me uh, out of Vietnam from a guy who has a little business uh, making custom made straps. And I gotta tell you the quality is just on point. Uh, he was nice enough to send me uh, one of his uh, hornback alligator straps and I went ahead and threw it on. The only watch that I had that would actually fit the strap, I ordered a 24 millimeter. I should have ordered a 24, uh, but uh, nonetheless, this is what it looks like. I just put it on, this is just an inexpensive winter watch that I have that happened to be 24 millimeters. And I know that the watch quality is not on par with what the strap is like, but it gives you guys an idea what the strap looks like. Um, again, I ordered it in the red hornback, and uh, the hornback is something that's pretty hard to find in a strap. You'll see, the, the problem with, uh, with alligator straps, in my opinion, is that everybody has most watches are, I shouldn't say everybody and most, but a lot of watches come on an alligator printed strap. So it's real cow high, but they print it to make it look like alligator. So to be honest with you, I have some straps from, a, I did a couple reviews from a, a, another company, I forget what it was called, um, maybe strap code, I'm not, not sure offhand, but uh, very nice quality watches, watch straps, but you know, I ordered the Python and uh, the ostrich and that kind of stuff, and those are great exotic um, uh, leathers or materials, but we, one of the straps was like a $200 genuine alligator strap. And you know what? When you side by side compare it to a faux strap, it's really hard to rationalize, you know, spending that money on something that looks exactly like the fake one or the imitation alligator. What I like about Hornback, it's a different cut of alligator. So you have these very large raised ridges. And I believe that's part of the back. Um, I believe that's why they call it Hornback. And whereas normally I think when they generally make alligator straps, they do it from the underside. I guess it depends on what you buy, but um, I was pretty excited to get my hands on a hornback because I don't have one of these. And I wish I would have ordered it in black in 22 because I put it, could have put it on some of my dress watches, but I just wasn't thinking. So, but anyway, I put it on this watch. It's done in the red. And the quality is really beautiful. Um, on the inside, it has like another leather coating. I'm not sure what the material is. That's cowhide. Uh, he didn't really... He didn't really send me any information, but uh, definitely a beautiful strap. And from what I can tell, um, it doesn't look like anything is stitched on these. And I'm not, it's, it's really an art form. I'm pretty sure this is all either glued together, which just kind of does concern me a little bit because on the underside, I'm not sure maybe there's stitching underneath that, but there is no stitching. So although this is a very comfortable, smooth strap on the inside, uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna wear. Time will tell, um, but you know, how often am I really gonna wear this? Cause I don't wear this watch all that often. But nonetheless, I mean, the quality of the strap is beautiful. It's a lot better. I thought it was gonna be a little more primitive. Uh, it's very, very high quality. Very, very nice um, materials in this. I mean, everything is really on point with straps that I've seen uh, that cost, you know, $200. So uh, it is a beautiful strap, I mean, I mean, red hornback. Now, this, this one will actually fit my Aragon, so I probably will take this off this watch. When I want to wear something exotic like this in red, I'll go ahead and throw it on my Aragon um, gauge. Uh, I have one with a black face and a silver face. This will look beautiful on that. I did try to get one in orange, but he didn't have hornback in orange. But basically, this guy will, he has, you know, pre-made straps that he's made, but this guy can pretty much make anything. I mean, you he, these are custom-made straps. So if you want to have hornback, you know, you're limited on the colors, but... Uh, I'm going to link you guys to his Facebook page. That's how I discovered the guy. And uh, again, he's from Vietnam. He sent it registered mail. It did take probably about 20 days to get, uh, but I came in the mail today and I'm very impressed with the quality of the product. I mean, this is definitely a strap that in whatever watch you have, he can pretty much custom make it, I believe up to 30 millimeters. And the great thing about that is that, you know, I tend to be a bracelet guy, but when it comes to watches like Invicta and some of the larger timepieces, the lugs are so wide on them, it's very difficult to find straps for any kind of Invicta watch. You almost have to go directly back to the manufacturer. And sometimes those straps can be pretty expensive or not even available. So what's nice about this guy is he'll make you something up to 30 millimeters, any brand watch you have, you give them the measurements, pretty easy, just measure at the lugs. And if you know which watch you have, naturally, he's uh, some of those higher end luxury brands he's very familiar with. Uh, there's one he's, uh, uh, I think Patek was one of them. Uh, and uh, Hublot, just kind of looking at his, his listings here. But I will put a link to his website or to his Facebook page. That's basically how you order. 
Uh, he does accept PayPal, to my knowledge, and he's got a lot of different colors. Lots of alligator, lots of hornback, uh, but if you want something exotic too, uh, kind of the sky is the limit of what he can produce. Um, the ostrich leg, I kind of wish I would have got that one in 22 because that is an awesome looking strap. Um, I encourage you to check, click, click the link, go to his page, Facebook him, drop him a comment, let him know that, or drop him a message, a, an instant message, he'll get back to you, uh, which is great. You guys can chat about it, one on one sale going on, you know. A lot of places you can't even get a hold of anybody. This guy will get back to you, he will talk to you, tell you what it costs. And make sure, though, if you do order, let him know that I sent you. I don't have any affiliation with him, but I just want him to know that I am uh, making an effort to you know, share these straps with people. He's nice enough to send me one all the way from Vietnam. The only thing is, though, when you guys order, or if you guys order, and when you guys order, you have to order the buckle because they don't come with a buckle. So one thing to be noted that if you are replacing a strap on a watch and you're going to use your existing buckle, you want to make sure you give them the measurement, send him some pictures, make sure he knows exactly what this is going on, and, and make sure that, uh, that you're very clear on what you're paying for. Uh, because mine, although it was a sample, I can't wear this. I don't have a, a class, so I could probably dig something up. But really, when you're buying a strap, I told him, I'm like, just include, raise the price and include the buckle. But uh, everybody does things their own way. But nonetheless, a beautiful watch strap. Um, I am going to try to hold it on the wrist so you can see what it looks like. But definitely exotic. I mean, really cool looking. I mean, this is the only way that I really like to wear a... Uh, a non-bracelet strap. I mean, I'm not a big fan of poly. I'm not a big fan of rubber or silicone. If I'm going to wear anything that's not bracelet, it needs to be something that's like leather and exotic, some sort of exotic skin. And some of you may find that offensive, but I don't really care. Uh, I mean, everybody, these things are being made. I mean, it's not, um, you know, it, it, this is the world we live in, guys. So let me know what you guys think about the strap. I think it's beautiful. Uh, if you don't support stuff like this, then don't buy it. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool, and let's face it, um, you know, I mean, if you're gonna buy a watch, you're like, oh, that you, you know, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and just say this because I did have one person when I had I showed off my uh, my Python strap uh, on YouTube mentioned how you know how wrong that was, and and I get it, everybody's got their opinion, and I get it, you don't want to kill things just for their skin. Uh, you know, other countries are different. A lot of the countries eat these creatures. Um, and you know, but it is hypocritical unless you are a vegetarian and you don't eat meat at all Then don't comment about the skin. So guys, thank you very much for watching Let me know what you guys think about this video and the band. Let me know if you have any questions Subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day